Oh, I have some terrible news. You're gonna wanna zoom in and it's something for everybody to hear. The doctor told me I can't go to the airports anymore. He says I'm sick. Unfortunately, he told me that it's terminal. That's all I have this morning. That's all I've got. And I'm so sorry that that's what you have to put it up with, but it is an okay segue when it goes into another talking point, which seems to be a pretty constant conversation, which is stretching your tires. Now, before we even get into it, our lawyers are telling us that we are legally obli ob obligated to let you know that stretching your tires can and may result in the potential debeatment of your wheel from your tires. So if you wanna be a nerd and not do it, then that's on you. But based on those circumstances, if you opt to stretch your tires, you're doing so at your own risk, because guess what? Sometimes you gotta pay to play and sometimes there's just a little bit more risk involved, which, you know, that's just how it goes. If you guys are watching this, just so you know, we did just drop our BBS September wheel giveaway. If you pick up one of these six shirts, it gets you entered in to win. It's absolutely awesome. We've never done anything like this, especially with BBS. They're an absolutely massive brand. We're super stoked for doing a donation to the United Way as well. So every single shirt that you purchase from us, it allows us to make a donation to that as well. It's gonna be super awesome. Can't wait to actually get the shirt instead of wearing a long sleeve, because apparently in Wisconsin, they just decided no fall. Let's just go straight from summer to winter. and. Now we're here. Now that that's out of the way, stretching tires can be a bit of a difficult dynamic thing. There's lots to take into consideration when you're talking about curb weight, tire compound, purpose of why you're stretching, and so much more that you could potentially mess up, which could result in some one would mate say uh, rookie mistakes when stretching your tires. That's two for two. I'm Alex, Alex at FI on the old IG, and today we're gonna be talking about rookie mistakes when running stretch tires. So while we know that stretched tires aren't everyone's cup of tea, stretching your tires is actually a lot more common than most would think. Any deviance from the original wheel size would either be a meet or stretch setup. We've talked about over yonder. If you wanna take a look at the old math that we did to figure out how to make it easy for you boys and girls out there that are trying to do a stretch setup without actually guessing, because guessing is not good for when you're buying stuff in case you are wondering. Stretch tire setups occur when people usually wanna fit a wider wheel under a fender or if they wanna give their wheel just a bit more curb appeal. But when people go to stretch their tires, they usually mess it up and are stuck with some pricey tires that end up losing air in 100 miles or burn out before the third fill up. Now here's the first mistake, which is people that have a tendency to never actually measure what their plan on ordering. An old video we did once was talking about how to calculate the perfect tire stretch. And we used a baseline, which ended up being a 255, 35, and an 18 by 10. There's a lot of numbers, and if you don't know what any of those are, you're gonna wanna definitely check out that video. This wheel and tire size was a perfect setup for both what we would consider a square setup. So it was a little bit meaty, but had a good look without it being too much either way. From there, you can then calculate how much stress you wanted to go by either going down an aspect ratio in intervals of 10, or sidewall size intervals of five. Pair that with being able to go up or down with your wheel width about half an inch either way to also determine tire stretch and you have a fun little math problem that helps tell you just how much stretch you're gonna have when you end up picking up a set of wheels and tires. Using the 255-35 on a 10 wide as a baseline, we know that if you wanted a stage one stretch, could be a 245-35 on a 10 wide or a 255-30 on a 10 wide or a 255-35 on a 10 and a half wide. And if you wanna know more, there's a video with the link below because that one is quite the doozy. You can use this math for just about any setup anywhere, not just for stretch. And if you guess, you're probably gonna get it wrong. Just saying. Some common other stretch setups for those out there that are looking for some tips, 205 40s on an eight and a half, 215 35s on a nine and a half, and 225 40s on a 10 and a half wheel are gonna be just about perfect. Another common rookie mistake is not knowing whatever load index you end up on the tires that you end up stretching. You'll always be playing a little game of gambling with this, but if you can get it close, you're likely gonna have a lot less stress to deal with overall. A lot of times people want to run a little stretch setup on their big old VIP Euro saloon. So they go with fitmentindustries.com where they get their all their wheels, tires, and suspension needs, got them, and end up purchasing tires that have a load index of a small child worth of weight. Throw them puppies on and about 100 miles down the road, you're gonna end up dealing with a broken wire in the tire. This has to do with the load index being completely ignored. You're gonna always wanna keep an eye on this if you got a big car and you're looking to run rubber bands. Now, this is kind of one of those things where is it a rookie mistake when running it? Probably you're gonna end up having an issue because of it. It's not necessarily something you're gonna have while driving. It's just a, uh, it's just an unfortunate situation. Stretching tires is a thing that happens everywhere and it's been a thing for a hot minute. One thing we've noticed though is that people stretch their tires because they think it's what you're supposed to do if you get aftermarket wheels. And that's not inherently true. Stretching your tires should be due to 
actually you wanting the result out of something, whether that's fitting a wheel or dialing in your fitment to your fender. Don't buy a stretch tire setup if you have no plan of dealing with that mile and a half of wheel gap. This isn't custom offsets. You don't wanna be fitting a six-year-old in your wheel well. It'll only be amplified if you run a stretch tire setup that has absolutely no sidewall. And then you have your OEM suspension setup, and then you got this weird space, and it kinda of looks funky, and like, <laughs> Start with suspension first, then the wheels, then the tires, trust us. In terms of mistakes we've made in the past, we've all done it when we were 16, help us help you. Another rookie mistake is assuming all tires are created equal when it comes to stretching, and that is entirely not the case. Stretching tires takes into account some unique properties of the tire, such as your sidewall strength, what kind of material or compound do the tires actually use or what are they made of, where are the channels for the rain, and all the good stuff. You'll often see lots of people stretching Federals, Falcons, Nexons, and Kumos. Nankang get a special shout out since you can buy about 16 of them and never end up worrying about something happening to them because you have 16 of them because they just happen to be like the price of like a Whataburger. Whataburger is still better than In-N-Out. I'm sorry, Dakota. More high performance oriented tires will not have much stretch in the capacity that we would want them to for stretching onto a wheel. Brands like Toyo, Michelin, and Pirelli just don't do it as well because the compound and the amount of strength and then they put into their sidewalls for high functioning track use make them very difficult to actually use for what stretching tires from a form point of view is actually meant for. Now, does that make them a bad tire that you can't do it? You can. Do you want to get marks on your new wheels because of it though? Probably not. And that's where the real big thing comes into. A lot of those higher end performance tires have extremely strong sidewalls, but not meant for stretching, but more meant for the high capacity of hard turning. And our final rookie mistake when running stretch tires is not changing your driving habits. You would be absolutely astonished at how different a 30 series two stretch feels compared to a 40 series no stretch setup. It's absolutely insanely different. Those little bumps, canyons, okay? Railroad tracks feels like World War II bunker. Dirt and asphalt, what are you, insane? Stretching tires and running them everywhere results in a different driving experience from the moment you turn on the car to the moment you turn them off and cry about the fact that you got a chip in your wheel. Be careful when you first install your new setup because you're likely going to hit your normal like local street bump and feel your heart go into a cavity you didn't know existed because of how hard it's going to feel. Pair that with some expensive wheels and you could easily rack up a bill or two because of it. Stretching tires has been a thing for decades. Mini trucks did it, Japanese car culture did it, and now here we are because in the United States, they're just, that's just how it goes. Doing it too, okay? Stretching tires doesn't automatically mean running 20 degrees of camber and having lips exposed four inches. My 30s on my own car would be considered stretch on my 12 wides in the rear, which is just how the world goes sometimes. What's important is that if you begin down the rabbit hole of running stretch tires, you'll want to know to be careful and not make the rookie mistakes before you even throw the wheels and tires onto the car. So what sort of rookie mistakes have you made? Drop a comment below and of course, let us know what you want us to talk about next. Don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com for all your wheel, tire, and suspension stuff. By the way, if you're looking to get entered in for a giveaway, we just partnered with BBS Wheels because why not? And it's the coolest shirt ever and I don't even have it because we're filming this and we don't even have it yet. But we'll put it up on the screen. I'm not jealous and we're making a donation to United Way. So if you want to pick up a free set of BBS wheels, potentially by picking up a t-shirt, you can do so in the comment section description below. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We will see you later.